Hey everyone. Okay, so I just got home like not even maybe 15 minutes ago. That is the only reason I can't do day shift until I get my car because it would take me too long to get back over here. But you guys, it was easy money today. Okay, all I had to do was um well first when I got there, I didn't even, I didn't know where to go or what to do. Um so I saw all these two managers talking, and I told asked one of them. And they walked me over to the area that needed the, that had put up the overtime thing, and the guy over there didn't know what was going on. So then he sent me to this other area, and they, uh, like to kind of a little feet away from him, um, to talk to this other person, and they didn't really know. And then the um, the lady who used to be our one of our ops managers, she recognized me and she just starts coming over towards me, Jocelyn, blah, blah, blah. And everything got worked out after that. And so then I had to, um, I, uh, oh, so then I was talking to this manager and he was helping, he took me over to the area where I was going to be at and I'm like, um, all I had to do, you guys, I didn't even know, I don't, first of all, why didn't the only thing I'm tripping off of is nobody knew what department this was that what we were doing. Okay, we were like all we had to do was these boxes. People were like unloading a truck, and then we just had to scan, um, put labels on it, put these stickers on them, scan them into the system or whatever, and then these other these guys loaded them onto a pallet, and then um, they took some other guy took them away. And the people were just so chill and fun. The only thing is, okay, the people that were in the trailer that me and this one guy were scanning, right? We were scanning the boxes. There's one, we got, they brought in these, like this couple. I didn't know they were a couple at first. I thought it was just like a guy and a girl. But you know how it is, you could tell. And the guy was really good looking. And like, I was like, oh my God, like just really dark chocolate skin, perfect smile, everything going and I was just like, but, you know, like, it was just, like, maybe an early 20s, something like that. And him and the girl were just talking, but then, like, they were getting it done. Like, they unloaded the whole thing. I was shocked. I was like, we're not going to finish the way they're carrying on. <laughs> but it ended up being so chill. And then, like, um, I mean, it was a little different because my usual people weren't there. And it was, like, at first, it was, like, kind of confusion. Like, when I got over there, the manager showed me how to do it, which I was shocked because... He's like, all you do is you take the, uh, he put it in the mode or whatever that I needed to be in. And then he showed me how to do it. And I was shocked because usually managers don't know. Like, they usually have the PA doing that. And so, and the PA was so chill, you guys. I was like, um, he was just telling the people, like, what to do, the guys. And it was funny because it was just me and this other girl and a bunch of young guys. And the girl that was with, her boyfriend was in the truck with her. And she was like, so they were moving this thing out, this thing that moves the boxes out of the trailer. All the guys were moving it, right? And me and her were just kind of standing there talking because this was at the end. She's like, she's like, see, this is one of the luxuries of being a girl. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> it was funny. And they're like, I don't know, you guys, but I was like, I can really get used to this just kind of midway through. I was like, yeah, it was only five hours, but I was, like, kind of, like, I can get used to this. The only thing I, is that is different is, yeah, there's, like, more managers walking around, but they're just not even really bothering you. It's just kind of, like, you know, um, and what else? I don't know. It's, like, it seems like at night, it is a little more chill vibe. Like, the people, it's not as, like, I mean... I was shocked because I thought it was more like, like more rigid and stuff during the day. But some of the people were still acting a fool, like in the day too. Like, I was like, oh okay, like I don't know. It was it was different, but I could see you know why people like days too. Um, but and originally, which is ironic, because originally I was gonna do days, but I um I couldn't only because the thing after work. Yeah, it was going to be a problem for me, like, getting back over here. I would, like, be getting back, and then I had to sleep really quick and then get up the next day because they started, I think, at the time, they started a little later than they do now because it was only, it was five days, but... Oh, wait, let me see you guys. I have something in the air fryer. Let me see what's done. Um, oh. 
shake, 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 shake. Um, but I don't know. I kind of liked it because today, because I didn't, um, it's something I would haven't done, you know? So it's something different. It's like, and it was just kind of fun doing it. And it also, because what I usually do, like, lately and everything, it all kind of teaches you kind of the process of everything because you're kind of fixing the issues, right? And so, um, now you know, like, where it starts and what happens at the beginning and how many mistakes happen and everything can happen and stuff. It's really interesting, like, when you think about it. Like, I don't know. But... You know, I don't know. It was just really chill. I mean, I, I missed my usuals, like I said, my usuals at night. Um, so that's the only difference. But um, even the guy from the safety dude, he was like, you, "Did you move to days?" I was like, "No, I'm just here for vet or whatever." And then he was like talking. He's like, "He said something. I forgot." But I, all these people moved to days. They were on nights before, and I get it. And nobody wanted to be on them night shit. But, you know, oh, <laughs> uh, y'all forgot where you came from. <laughs> and, um, I was proud of myself this morning, you guys, because usually I lag it, and I'm like, um, oh, is there something in my eye? No. Looks like it. Um, oh my god, you guys, doesn't my eyes look weird? I think it's just, like, the glare of the lights or something, but, um, I got a I wanted to snooze it, but I really couldn't because I really could not be, I couldn't miss the train I had to be on today because I had to be there by um, 2.15 unless I wanted to pay Lyft to go all the way, you know? Then I could have snoozed it a little longer, but it wasn't worth it because I was like, I could snooze tonight, I could snooze tomorrow night, it's going to be gravy. But tomorrow I do have my appointment with the, with the doctor about my situation, so I'm gonna see what's going on. Um, that's what that was another reason I I was kind of in the on the fence, but I was thinking if there was another shift that was starting that was only four hours after it was gonna start like thirty minutes later. I don't know if it was gonna be doing the same thing, but it was the same type of job code on the overtime, so probably. But on that shift, I know more people, so they probably just move me somewhere else because I would have been like, um, Andrew, move me. <laughs> But, you guys, oh my god, like, um, but I was like, and just like the girl, the one that was with her boyfriend in the truck, she, um, she, we, I was like, wait, I thought you guys were staying, like, for the next shift, because her, I heard her boyfriend say he has to stay till the next shift or whatever, and she's like, oh, hell no, I'm going home and having some chili and cornbread, his mom's, me. I'm like, his mom, his mom's cooking, <laughs> and then so, like, so, I was like, yeah, cause I was thinking about it, but I was like, no, because, like, you guys, like, after last break, I had the worst cramps. I was like, oh, my God, like, seriously, I'm so sick of this mf -er. Like, please go away already. And it's just like, so I hope I get some kind of answers tomorrow, but I doubt it because, um... Usually, I don't know how sh my doctor, this doctor is, but in the past, when it's been things like that, they usually refer you to gynecology to do it because that's the department that deals with, like, the female stuff, reproductive stuff, but system and all that. But, um, I have a feeling they're going to try to put me on the pill or something because I don't know how, what they do to stop it. But I know when when they want to bring it on, they give you certain pills to bring it on. But I don't know what they're going to do in this case. And the questions in the pre-visit questionnaire, I was getting all confused. I was like, I don't know. They were like, do you have cramping on your left side? Have you been, like, do you feel heavy down there? Do you feel this? And I'm just like, I don't even know. Like, you know, it's just kind of like... It's just the usual stuff, but it goes away after a week, usually, you know? So, I don't even know. And it's just weighing on my mind, just because it's just... My mind, obviously, like, overthinks and goes to worst-case scenario. So, I'm just like, I don't even want to think about it. But then I'm like, 
I have to be prepared for what it could be, you know, or the worst case scenario and hope for the, what is it? Hope for the best, prefer, prepare for the worst kind of thing. So, cause the one common denominator of the situation is it's not normal. You're not supposed to be doing that. You know, it isn't normal not to, like to keep having it for like where it doesn't stop, you know? This girl I used to kind of be close to years ago, she was having a situation like that. And she was like, I've been bleeding for a month and I go through like five super tampons a day. And I'm like, like, you know, and that's the other thing, you guys, if you, if you, um, like, keep bleeding like that you can get anemic and stuff that's the thing and i've been noticing i mean i, I could always sleep i mean don't ask my dad anything about this but i could, i can sleep all day but i have a feeling that i've been extra sleepy because of it too because you're losing blood and then it's just like i mean so i i gotta figure this out you know and i don't want to just keep popping pills and popping this and that but when you you know i have to look at all the factors involved, and you know, it's it's a risk, you know, having that because yeah, you're just losing it. You're losing it every day more and more. So after a while, other issues start happening, and then we'll see though, you know. But um, you guys, I took a nap on the way here. I was like, I took like two naps. Cause I got on one. I didn't really have to wait wait that much tonight though, because and it was funny when I was getting in my lift, the the senior officer was like, Jocelyn, thank you for coming. I was like yelling at him for a car, and I was like, Oh my god, we were all blast. But yeah, oh my god, you guys. I mean, I know I'm popular there, but <laughs> but then so I was just like, oh my god. Like, I, when I was doing it, like I said, I was like, you know, I could get used to working the day shift if they started later and if they got out earlier. But because they get out too late, it's just, it's a no. It's an absolute no, you know, but, um, but I do, I do feel like I need to switch it up a little from when I'm working my shift right now. Like, I was thinking of switching to front half nights. Um, but I can't, I don't think I can do anything until after the busy season ends, so. But I was thinking about it. I've never done for half nights. I've never done, like, I've always been off Sunday night and all that, but. Um, and, like, since I'm a homebody, it doesn't really matter if I have my weekends off. <laughs> you know, so I don't, I don't care about that. But I want to kind of switch it up. But I just can't do days right now because of the situation that my transportation situation is like. It would cost more, like dealing with that, you know. It's not even cost financially, only it's like the time of it. It's easier going later, you know, for me right now. So it's just, I don't know. I like that. I like being in a different environment, different people. You know, not the same crowd, you know, but it's like, um, I don't know. And so, yeah, though, I was proud I got out earlier today. I got out when I needed to get out today because I was like, I'm determined to get there on time and do what I got to do, you know, and, um, It was funny when I was leaving. This guy was like, "Who works nights?" Was like, "You mean the days or what?" He's one of those types that I always gotta know. And I was like, "I was like, no, I just do vet." And he's uh, I'm like, "Is that a problem?" And he was like, he, <laughs> "I'm uh, is that good? Is, is that okay? Is that a problem?" He's like, "No." <laughs> like he doesn't care. He's like, "Cause I think he used to be a cop, so he has like that kind of." You know, that shell, that armor on him kind of vibe. You know, like, he he ain't dealing with no BS. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, you guys, uh, I'm going to sleep after I eat these nuggets and fries. I'm going to go to sleep because I'm tired and I got to be up for that appointment. I don't know what time it is. I got to check. I got to do laundry tomorrow. Um, I took the trash out. I was like, I'll do it tomorrow morning. But then I know I'm not. 
Because it's going to be so cold in the morning. I'm not going to even want to go out there. So, I just took it out right now. So, that's done with. So, ugh. And I think this is a real life came on tonight. But I don't know, you guys. I haven't been keeping track of it since that one episode I talked about. <laughs> because I tried to watch it on VH1 last week. And they were talking about the vote stuff. And they didn't show it. And then, um, their website is kind of weird, too. So, I'm just like. I don't know. But anyway, you guys, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Hope you have a good Tuesday. Tomorrow's my last day off before I we have met this week. So it's an hour added on. We're going to get out at 7.30 in the morning. Which is good and bad for my situation. But um, it's good. On the weekend, because it's like, you know, but it's not, I don't know. It's not, it's not that bad, actually, during the week, but we'll see. Anyway, you guys, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Bye. Stay warm.